Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a MacBook. This is a MacBook Pro, the model is an A1398. This one it comes with an Intel iCore 7 4750HQ. This is a 2013 model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can add, remove the storage in here. Just remember by removing the storage you have to reinstall the OS system, it's really easy. Once you put a new SSD in there, you want to open it up. Uh, you want to press command R and then power it on and once you get the logo you want to let go and then you just can download directly the OS and few steps and you can install it that's another topic but that's really easy to do in this video I'm just going to cover up quickly how to open your laptop and how you can add and remove the storage all right let's go over the tool that I'll be using a, a screwdriver set I'll be using I think the screwdriver set as they have all the bits you need for any electronic that you want to open. I purchased myself this is basic tool set. From this tool set we're going to use a P5 and then down here we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There are two screws that are different from the rest. Those are the two back mid. These are a little short screws and with no risers or there is no neck on them. It doesn't have any neck. If you compare them to any of other screws there will be like a little uh, riser neck on the top. So keep these two on a separate pile so you don't mix match them. And then you want to remove the rest of them and keep them in a separate pile. I'm just going to do this quickly. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. appreciate that. All right. There we go. Once you remove all of them, grab it from the back here and lift it up. And then we have the bottom cover. And right away here, we can see the M.2. These are their own jack that they created. And there's only one screw holding it. You don't need to disconnect the battery, but if you want to be paranoid, just lift up this adhesive, put your fingers on the side of the jack and lift it upward. That's how you disconnect it. To put it back in, push it in, and it goes into place right there. Right. You want to grab a torque number, uh, this one is a torque number six, and you want to remove one, is, no, it's a torque number, not six, number five, torque number five, and you want to remove one screw at the back of the SSD, and then you want to grab the SSD in like a 10 or 15 degree, not a lot, just like this, and then you want to slide it towards the left side, just slide it like that, don't yank it too much, you're going to break it. All right, so you can see this is way different than any NVMe storage. The NVMe storage, they have a different cut, different place. It will not go in place. You can purchase a higher capacity up to two terabyte or one terabyte, their own storage. Or you can get a, your own NVMe storage of a Samsung 980, 990 Pro up to two terabyte with no problem. And I'll leave the link for an adapter. I don't have the adapter exactly for this one. Adapter that you can plug in the NVMe into your adapter. And this one is a little different, it's not for this one. You plug it in here and you put the screw on it. And then you're going to grab this drive and you're going to put it right in there. All right. So I'll try to, this is for a MacBook Air. I'll try to get the adapter for this one. So you don't have to go get this expensive storage that they sell. So you can go get a better quality NVMe storage and just get a simple. $10 or $5 adapter and put this one on top and plug that in there and it will work just perfectly fine. All right. So let's say that you got the new drive in or whichever you have. You want to put it in, make sure the notch on the matching is the same orientation. You want to push it all the way in, it clicks in and let go. And then just grab the screw that you removed and just put it right over at the back. And there we go. And there's no more space for any other storage space in here, so you can only have one. Once you're done with that, you want to grab the bottom cover. You want to align it. Once it's aligned, you start putting the corner screws first, and don't tighten them up too much. Just um, put them over, but not tightening them up. So that's very important. People start tightening the screw right away. So just put it like I do a few turn and let go, and do the other corner, bottom, cross screw them always. Because the aluminum does shift a little bit if you tighten up too much from one corner. That's why you get a deformation. And once you finish with that, put the two tiny ones in the back mid. And that should cover up today's video. Just remember when you power on, 
you want to hold down con command R and then you can just connect it to internet and download the OS, the new OS on your system. Within 10 minutes or 15 minutes, you'll be on the new Windows. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screen.